What's up, ladies? So I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can start practicing your pull-ups without having to use a band. Let's get started. The first pull-up movement is called the inverted row. We like you to use a barbell for the inverted row because we're trying to practice what it's gonna be like when you get on the pull-up rig, right? And I want you to grab the men's barbell or the 45 pound barbell because it has a wider barbell to it. So that's gonna help us with our grip strength. Now from here, you are going to set your barbell up to a height that you are comfortable with for the rep scheme that's prescribed in the workout. So if you only have say three to five pull-ups in a workout, right? That's not a super high volume. You can set it lower because you're not going to get as fatigued. If you have something like for today, we have 20 strict pull-ups in a workout. I want my athlete to do 20 inverted rows. I'm gonna have her set up the barbell a little bit higher so that maybe she can bang out seven to nine, maybe even 10 pull-ups in a row or inverted rows in a row. And the super cool thing about this is this is gonna help you with your grip strength as well as build that pulling. You're gonna put the barbell on the rack, just like you would set it up for, you know, your back squats or your push press. It's going to be at a height, again, based off of the rep scheme and where you are in your pulling journey. Now, you're going to hold on to the barbell just like you would when you get up on the rig to do your pull up, but I want you entering the inverted row from the back so that when you're hanging on, the bar is pulling into the rig so that it doesn't bounce out as you're moving. From here, you're just gonna set up, and I really want those legs straight because we're building the core at the same time. And then you can do either a chest to bar pull up or you can pull up here. Again, these are phenomenal for developing the core strength and the pulling strength all at once. These are also awesome for a chest to bar substitute because you can, you can train yourself to pull to the bra line. And I also use these for my athletes as we're working on our bar muscle ups for that sa same reason we're training to pull down here. So play around with it and see what's comfortable for you. Your next option for practicing your pull ups is going to be your foot assisted pull up. I love these for my athletes. It helps you train your uh, ability to get comfortable hanging. It allows us to actually practice your kip, and I'm going to show you how. It gets comfortable, again, with that grip strength, which is something that is super important for our pull-ups, and it's gonna help you gain confidence. And there's a whole lot of room to make this exercise extremely challenging so that when you are ready to transition either into a regular pull-up or a banded pull-up, you feel confident in that. So, I like you to set your barbell up at about head height or maybe a little bit shoulder head height. If you have a bar that is at, at a you know short person height, you can also use that if, if you feel comfortable with it. And then you can always get some plates to put underneath the bar. I find this is the easiest. Again, you are going to use the 45 pound barbell because we want to emulate or replicate the thickness of the pull-up bar. Now from here, the height of the bar is going to give you the ability to use more or less of your legs. I don't want you using a ton of legs if you don't have to. The goal is to eventually be able to do an unassisted pull up, right? So if I use too much leg, I'm not going to train that. What I want you to do here is we're gonna practice getting comfortable just hanging. So you're literally just gonna keep your feet on the ground and you're gonna sit here and you're gonna hang and you're gonna get comfortable with that feeling. Now, from here, if I have strict pull-ups in a workout, I've got a lot of leg down here to assist me in pulling up, okay? And the stronger I get at this, the less leg that I'm going to use, okay? Now, notice every single time I pull my head over the barbell. That is extremely important. You will see a lot of women in the gym when they are doing their pull-ups and they finish like this, okay? That weakest part of our pull-up is that part at the end, right? A lot of us might even have half a strict pull-up. 
where we can get halfway there and then our arms give out. So let's make sure we train the biggest part of the, or the hardest part of the pull up, which is that last piece. Wanna know how you can practice your kip while you're doing these? You're going to put your feet past that rig so that I start, notice I am in my hollow position, right? And what happens when I swing through, I can hit that arch. I can go back to hollow and pull, and I can go back to arch. Now you will notice there's a little bit of movement with my barbell. You do need to be careful. It needs to be a controlled movement. You can also take bands and wrap the bands around the ends of the barbell to make sure that it doesn't wiggle back and forth. How do you implement these into your programming for the day? If you have, I, I like my athletes to make it as much of a strict and controlled movement as possible. And then we get to add in the hip and the kip when we develop that strength. Again, these allow you to practice lots of pull-ups in a workout and you feel like you're still getting the same stimulus as the rest of the class. Whereas I know a lot of times the ring rows can kind of get boring and overrated. This allows us a lot more room to play around. If you are having three to five pull-ups in a workout, I really wanna challenge you to hang those legs as much as possible and to use your arms as much as possible, okay? If you have a higher rep scheme, then you can use more legs because you're still gonna get a lot of that stimulus, right? But you're not gonna feel like you're just staring at the barbell for eons. Now, I'm gonna show you another super cool trick to make these even harder. When you're to a point that you have gotten super confident with the pull-ups from the rig feet assisted, right? And you've played around with height and you're getting super strong at it, this is another step up, and this is almost going to be as challenging as a banded pull-up with a thick band. We are going to hang one leg off of a box, okay? And the goal is to keep that leg as much dead weight as possible, but I still want you in that slightly hollow position. It's, you're active here, but this leg is now not participating in our pull-up at all. These are also a phenomenal way to build that chest bar because you get to do it slow and controlled, whereas sometimes when we do the bands, we often have a hard time figuring out that end range because we're still pulling to here and our arms are literally our our. Mobility uh, is literally blocking the ability to get the bar all the way here. These allow you to lean back and pull to here. You're gonna set this bar up. Now it's gonna be above your head, all right? And you will get a box. I, because of my rig, I have to set this one up at the 24 inch. If you have a wider space, you may be able to set it up on the lower height. And your hands are gonna be just like they would be if you were doing a regular pull-up, okay? So we're gonna be a little bit outside our shoulders and I want those thumbs wrapped around, extremely important. This builds lat engagement, okay? You get to do the suicide grip as your grip gets stronger. I'm gonna pop one leg up here and then I'm literally, notice my leg is in hollow, I'm pulling up to here. And I am just using this leg for assistance. And as you get stronger at it, I want you to challenge yourself to use this leg less and less. And again, if you're working on your chest to bar pull-ups, this is an awesome one to get in. And as I pull, lean back, okay? And can I use oh, my arms as much as possible? to feel what it's supposed to feel like, all right? Give these three different modifications a try. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to watching y'all crush your pulling.